of you, I am Mr. One Million. I am the one million man and look how handsome I look today. I mean, I just look incredible. So handsome, so sexy, so debonair. Just ready to devour everything in front of me. So, thank you so much for all the congratulation messages. Oh my goodness. On Insta, comments, DMs. On, 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 gosh, TikTok, so many comments and DMs. On YouTube, in the comments, man, so many congrats. Um, for hitting 1 million uh, followers on TikTok. Wow, I was so humble. Jeez, all day yesterday and then especially this morning after all of you had woken up well, um, and I was sleeping. And I even got WhatsApps from, from people in Hong Kong who obviously saw either my story or my live yesterday. Uh, so you're very humbled. I, I'm very, very grateful to you. It is a big milestone. One of the most interesting questions I got, well, the only question I got besides the congratulations was, how are you going to celebrate? My staff said to me yesterday, after live streams, like, boss, how are we going to celebrate? My daughter Serena told me after school yesterday. So as soon as Serena finished school, she actually Googled Sam Sailor TikTok and sent me a screenshot and said, followers one million. And she called me and she said, Papa, how are we going to celebrate? And she came to the shop, Papa, how are we going to celebrate? I got home, Papa, how are we going to celebrate? So I said, let me think about it. But a lot of DMs, how are you going to celebrate the one million? And to be honest, I think the one million, it's not a thing, this is how I feel, and I hope you can understand, or listen to me, if you don't understand, during the q and I'll, I'll, I'll try and answer. All my hard work to get there, right? All my hard work to get there, the one million is the reward. The one million is the celebration, you know what I mean? Getting to one million is the celebration, you know? I don't need a cake, I don't need a party, I don't need a trophy, you know what I mean? The one million, is the celebration of all my hard work. One million doesn't change me. One million doesn't make me better. Yes, it does give me more credibility, uh, obviously, and more significance. But the one million is the celebration of all the hard work that I've done the last four years to get here. I don't know if you can understand it or digest that or even uh, agree with me, but you know, I'm just like, I'm like this. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh my goodness, yes. You know what I mean? This is the celebration of the hard work. There is no need for a celebration of the one million. You know what I mean? The one million is a celebration of all the hard work that came before. And now we go to two million. And yeah, I said it. And, and that's how it's got to be. That is life. If you want to be successful, if you want to be famous, if you want to be rich, if you want to have power, you know what I'm saying? If you want heritage, if you want legacy, you have to work hard. And excuses are bullshit. You know what I mean? We've got people scurrying around here wearing masks because I'm coughing. You know what I mean? Jesus fucking Christ. You know what I mean? Like the world is, was just invented three years ago. You know what I mean? When fucking COVID came along. You know what I mean? I've got a bunch of fucking pussies surrounding me. You know, you know what I'm saying? You want to be successful? Understand that the world is old and we are young. And the only way you're going to be a part of history, the only way you're going to be significant, all right, is if you work hard. There's no four-hour work week, four-day work week, work from home, bullshit, let's go on holiday, second chances, second takes, second fucking anything. You should get up, you work hard, everything will come. Everything will come to you. I'm living proof of that. My father is living proof of that. My grandfather is living proof of that. And that's basically it. Now, I promise you lots of talking time and you will get lots of talking time from me if it's not farcical. But first we have to call an absolute gem of a client. A woman who is just, give me all the SV books for ladies. A woman who's just brilliant to me and has been with me on this journey for some time. And her name is Lisa. I think she's based in Maryland. Hello, my dear Lisa. Hello, my handsome friend. Were you watching my monologue? I sure was. How did I do? How did I do? Amazing. You sure? Amazing. Okay, Beautiful. great stuff. 
Excellent. So are you ready to do this? Uh, ready. So I'm going to make you one suit today. <coughs> you can get two pieces. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera around. And remember, this is all about you. Okay. Yes. So I've concocted two styles for you here. Okay. Okay. Take your own time. Can you see the styles? Yes, you can I only am. have one, all right? Uh, and mm -hmm. that, so this one is a very interesting lapel on top of a single button yes. jacket, okay? Okay. And this one is a double, but, double breasted jacket with three quarter sleeves. Which do you like better? I like the second one. Okay, so I'm going to make you a double breasted jacket today, okay? So now we should just focus on fabric and then we will come back to styling, all right? Yes. So I don't know what you've got in your mind, but if we were to do something similar to the photo, right? I've got this glorious yellow here. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that, but you know what I was thinking now? Yeah, tell I me. Was, you remember how you said that you think that I should go for the green? We'll get the that. Green we'll get that. Let me find okay. you something that I'm feeling right now. I'm also feeling this orange. This I think is quite oh. sensational. Yes. Let me, can I see them both uh, side by side? For of course a you can. You can see anything you want. I like questions like that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh God, I love both of them. I like this, and, I, and I'm liking this lime. I need more SV books. It's not enough. Where's my other SV books? One of the shiny, shiny oh, stuff. Find it. That it's my favorite one. Okay, my favorite one, do you miss it? I've got lots of stuff to show you, my dear. Lots of stuff. Wonderful. Great. I have so much fabric, it's intense. Look at this. This is intense. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy, huh? I really like that a lot. Yeah. That's For you crazy. also. I like this one because it's crazy. <laughs> and then there's this one. Nobody owns this. This is just one of a kind. This is, uh, what's wow. her name? Uh, Jackie Kennedy. Jackie Onassis. Without a doubt. Yeah, I like that one. And I then like there's that this one. one. The <coughs> just me, I need that book. So yeah, I think that's gorgeous too. And a full suit in that would be incredible. I mean, look at these sensational fabrics I have, right? They're beautiful. That's too They're dark. There's not enough gold there in that green. This is nice and fiery. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Sensational girl. Like Just here, I need that book. And then this guy, this girl here is so powerful. Look at that. And so is this one. Look. Yeah. You're going to have a hard time deciding. I want, yeah, I don't want that one because that's similar to the purple that my neighbor suit is. This one. Well, keep gazing at those and see what, what's good for you. Okay, I'm gazing. Keep showing all. <laughs> and then I like this as well with all the sheen, all that gloss. Oh, that's beautiful. I had an idea and it's in my book. How can my luck always be like this? What I want is not there. And then I find this very interesting for you as well. Oh, I like that. 
I really like that. Oh, I love the pattern. I like the I like that pattern. I like that a lot. And then there's this baby here. Oh, that's interesting too. Oh my God, one's better than the next one. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> uh. And then look at this with all the glorious crystals. This pink one here. The pink one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, too. Oh, my God. They're all glorious. Okay, we're gonna get even fancier now. Okay. <laughs> I can make you the silver. Oh, that's beautiful. I can make you this gold. Or I can make you that silver. Pink. Oh my god, I love the last one. Okay. Wow. Pink. I love that one. Okay, so we're going to potentially make you this one? It's between that one and the yellow that you first showed me. The light yellow. This one? Yes. Let's do the sexy silver. Okay. I love that. That is so beautiful. How do you move on? Okay, great. <laughs> Excellent. So, we're going to do a double-breasted jacket okay. with a shawl collar just like that. Okay? okay. We're going to give you a big rope on the shoulders. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to do three-quarter sleeves here. I love that. I think that is so cool with a large gauntlet cuff. Oh, yes. Okay. We're gonna yes. do slanted. Oh, beautiful. And a ticket pocket. Oh, beautiful. That is gonna be amazing. <coughs> forward start okay we're gonna give you a high waistband okay i like that with triple triple button and a built-in belt we're gonna build her belt let's make her belt with double belt loops. Oh, my. Beautiful. And exactly like this, crop pants. Yes. Tight leg. But that's exactly what I was thinking of, too, was another pair of cropped. I with love floor, that. flare at the bottom. Four. With the slits. That's, oh, wow. Okay. I'm letting you focus to make the right decision. So I preempt you. 
<laughs> yeah, I like this one. The one next to the gold one. This one right here. This one. Oh. This one. The one right in the middle. That one. Yeah. Pink one. Not that one. That one. Mm -hmm. You can't answer my question about the fabric. You have to stop or no? Where's Kevin? Call me. I'm uh, calling from San Jose. Yeah. Yes. I just called and give you the number. Just call the fucking area. No, because the customer is looking at it. It's missing my time. Hello? 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 Lisa, you're very quiet. Well, can't be quiet while you're making your call. <laughs> so we're going to do this one for you, okay? Okay, I love that one too. This is the one. That's going to be beautiful too. It's going to be just gorgeous. That's, yes, I love it. That is gorgeous. Keep gazing, and we're going to look at linings now. Okay. Okay, let's see what is going to go great <coughs> with the okay. silver. Okay. Let's see what I can find for you that will be iconic with the silver. You know, you are a tiger. I would love to put my tiger lining aside. I think that would be wild. <laughs> Have you seen my tiger lining before? It is my favorite lining right now, but you have to love it. Here, yeah, check this out. This is my tiger lining. And you are my tiger. <laughs> I like that. Let's do my tiger lining. It's my favorite lining. Then we'll have another lining in common. Then we'll have another lining in common, yes. Excellent. Okay. <coughs> so the buttons here, okay. Mm -hmm. Should mm -hmm. I make them in the same fabric or you want a contrast button? I think a contrast button would be cool. Let's do it. Give me the ornamentals. What do you think? Yeah, I think a contrast button. I think definitely a contrast button. Yeah. Okay, so here's the fabric. And we shouldn't do the buttons in silver, we should do them in gold. You've already had right. my gold Versace head? No, I haven't. 
upside down. You no, never I had it? I don't, I don't really like that one. No problem. What do you like? Can you see them? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can see them. Um, can you go over to the left a little bit? To this side a little bit? This side here? Uh, the, the other side? No, this side, yeah. How about this button here? I love that, yes. Yes, that's the one. Okay, let's look at pewter. So okay. it blends in more. This is pewter. Yes. So I think these two, which is the fabric? This one? So I think we should do a pewter button. Oh, one of these one. two. Oh, that's beautiful. This one here. Or even that one there. Maybe that's a bit dark. Let's go with this yeah. one, this shield. No, let's go with this one, oh, the I, netting. Yeah, that's my favorite right there. Yep. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. So I love that. Question? Me? So question? Me? Event. Okay. In the back of the jacket, okay, mm -hmm. we'll do our sensational inside kick pleats, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, and uh, we'll, we'll f put in some sort of riding detail at the back, so you've got some great seams there as well. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So are wonderful. you happy with what we're concocting for you? Uh, are you happy with what we're concocting for you? I love it. This is, I think this will be my favorite one so far. This is, I love this. Excellent. Then I will be back in touch with you soon, okay? Yes, I'll be back in touch with you soon, okay, my dear? Let me get building now. Thank you so, so, so much. You're amazing. No, no, you are time. amazing. Thank you for everything. God bless you. Speak with you real soon. Take care. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Can I do a longer Q&A with you today? What's up, what's up, Kalaska? Peace, what's up? Okay, so you have me to yourselves now. See the crap that I gotta go through every day? I mean, I've just got fucking people on my team that don't know what the fuck they're doing, where the fucking books are, how to even check if there's fucking stock of a fabric and stuff. You mean, I've just gotta get the fuck up and do everything. My fucking self, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's just insane, right? And you're like, why do you go off on your staff and shit? And like, fuck, fucking can't do fuck all, you know what I mean? Fucking losing books, can't check stock, can't find fucking books. You know what I mean? Just idiots. I'm six foot four tall. Those were not Mazon. Those are he? Bill, Miracle did it. Thank you. Sub delivery katam? Or koche? Wo JP Stevenson ka? Wo JP Stevenson? Uh, Ikam kar shi The JP Stevenson photo center. Unmold photo and center. That it's on my desk. I forgot to tell you yesterday. Or ek aur hai. Wo ek dusra delivery hai. Kon? J P Stevens in. Uh, there's two more. Uh, Mike Wood, right? You did Mike Wood and Unmold, right? You photo to them. If you'd like to get a suit from me, uh, if you're not in Hong Kong, send me your measurements for the measuring chart on my website, and then I can make you something amazing. This woman, Lisa, I've made her umpteen outfits. And uh, I've never met her in person. I got into this game by bringing my client's vision, uh, by wanting to bring my client's vision to life. Uh, I have a, uh, a special ability of just being able to get inside someone's head and uh, literally bringing their vision to life and you know surpassing that. Uh, I've lived in Hong Kong pretty much all my life, minus three years that I was at NYU and one year that I worked in London. Aiden Davis, I appreciate your warm wishes. All these highs and shout outs and everything, you can buy it from me on Cameo, because uh, it's just, you know, the thing to do now, and people do that with me every day. I do at least one Cameo every day. Oh. The funny videos are just what my mood is at that time. So, I've done so many of these interviews, right? Another one was posted today and stuff, and I, I'll say the story again. So when I first started doing videos, it was primarily for my Insta stories, when Insta stories came out. And I just asked the client for a testimonial and the client would talk through their suit. It could be five seconds, 10 seconds, 35 seconds, whatever, right? 
but overwhelming majority of the clients were not as confident as speaking as me, right? They're just fucking idiots uh, and stuff. Suddenly the mic goes on, the, the camera goes on and they can't speak. They don't know what to say. So, so then I took over and then it, they just got more and more funny. I started put, posting them and then Insta Reels came out. So I started posting them as Reels as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But before that I was posting them as TikToks. Mm. Grady Carr, time waits for no one. Waits for no one at all. You could die tomorrow. Seriously, you're run over by car. If you want a suit, let's do it now. I could die tomorrow, right? Then how would I make the suit for you? You think one of my idiots here can do it? Uh, Reborn crust. I appreciate your love. This is not milk tea. This is some sick concoction for my throat. I don't know what's in here, but I highly advise never drinking this shit. I'm drinking for the first time and it tastes like dog shit. How can I remember the first suit that I ever made oh, uh, and stuff? Do I, do you do the services in one take? Yeah, I'm Mr. One and Done. I never uh, do a second take and that's pretty much it. I never do a second take. I'm Mr. One and Done. Do I stitch everyone's suits? No, I digitally print them. I mean, I, I told you about the silly questions, right? You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't ask me farcical questions, otherwise I will go. Uh, suit is only 650 US, it's half the price of an iPhone. So I'm very much money considering what you get. 650 US for a suit. Um, tailors that I admire, nobody. I admire myself and my father. And that's basically about, I don't my, my, admire my father for his tailoring. I don't think his tailoring is great. I think it's very bog standard, right? He just churns out garbage. I, ad I admire him for everything that he's accomplished. Well, speak of the devil. I'm just talking about you, Papa, and you walked in. Come and say hello. Just the uh, people. Um, do I have other workers? I have other employees. Yeah, my father just walked in. They can't see you. There he is. You see my dad? Do I get consent to touch clients? They, I, I think you guys just don't understand. <coughs> They're begging me to touch them. Like, you, you don't get this, right? I'm, I'm being begged left, right, and I've been saying this for years now, right? I'm being begged to do videos, right? And you know, there's a guy who came in, young Chinese boy that I just posted this morning, okay? And he just came in and he wanted a video. I said, I'm, I'm not gonna do a video with you and stuff. And uh, you know, I was busy as well. So my staff told him that if you want a video, you can buy a suit. And then he spoke to my dad. They'd like, if I buy a suit, will, you, will I get a video with him? My dad said, yes. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? My dad just wanted to pedal the suit, right? So he bought a very basic suit and stuff. And my staff kept reminding me, you know, boss, um, this guy's gonna want a video and stuff. And in the end, I did a video with him. I posted it this morning. I thought the video was hilarious. And prior to doing the video, right, he said to me, he goes, I, w I want you to molest me as much as you can, as much as you want. I, I want you to go all out. Uh, no holds barred, no reservation, something along those lines. I was just, okay, whatever. And obviously none of the videos I do are scripted, right? They're different every single time. You watch every single video, they're all different. <coughs> And, 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 and that was that, right? So I'm being begged to do the videos uh, and, and so forth. I'll give you another flip side of this. So this is woman, Tina, her name is. And she rung me yesterday. Do you understand what that means? She rung me yesterday. She means she telephoned me. Or as you guys would say, she called. You know, this girl called me yesterday. Or well, Tina, she rung me yesterday. And, and uh, she said, look, I've got someone coming into town. <coughs> and uh, Mira, black phone day, please. Uh, I've got someone coming to town, and uh, thank you. Um, they would like a suit made, and they would like some suits altered. Uh, I said, okay. I said, listen, I don't alter other people's suits. Meaning, you know, if I had made the suit, uh, I would alter it. But if it's bought from someone else, that's just not what I do, right? Uh, I make suits. Uh, and she's like, oh, okay. And I was like, if you're looking for alteration specialist, I can recommend one but that's not my line of business. Uh, I don't do alterations. Uh, and she's like, okay. And he's also asking if he does a suit, does, yeah, what, what is this shit that you guys have made? What is in it? Okay, make another one. <coughs> make another one, thanks. <coughs> that shit's got turmeric and ginger and God knows what else in it. So, She's like, but he, the guy's also asking if he makes a suit with you, does he have to do a video because he doesn't want to do a video? I said, he doesn't have to do a video, Tina. Um, you know what I mean? Like, uh, people are begging me to do videos, not the opposite. Uh, and, and, 
and that was that. Uh, you know, I am a sex god, toilet water bowls. You, you just don't even understand, right? Uh, uh, I'm an absolute sex god. There was a new YouTube, YouTube video posted by, about me today uh, with this woman called Jinx Mafia or Mafia Jinx. Google her, watch the video on her site. I'm trying to get the footage from her so I can put it on all my mediums. <coughs> Miles, thank you for the gift. Now listen, I know that you guys still while well, I've already answered this question, are asking me for shout outs and birthdays. You can go to my cameo, go to cameo, look up Roshan Mawani, and you can get it uh, from me there. A suit will cost 650 US. TikTok, Instagram, anything I do, regardless of social media or what, okay, will positively and negatively influence my business. Now, I can give you one example. So I have a Singaporean client. He's a high-flying lawyer. I'm not even making this stuff up. He works for Bacon McKenzie. He's a Bacon McKenzie career guy. And I made him a lot of eccentric suits and he paid top dollar for them. I'm talking about top dollar suits. And when I came out and did a social unrest video in 2019 with Regina Ip, Regina Ip is, a, was an, exec, is an executive counselor. She's head of EXO, Ex, EXCO. So Exco is our cabinet, right? You guys have Senate, Congress, cabinet, right? Um, we just have a Congress and a cabinet. So our cabinet is called Exco, the executive committee, and she's the head of Exco. And <laughs> so I did a social unrest video with her, imploring you know, young people not to be protesting and stuff. And this guy who is gay as they come, but Asian as they come, right? Born and bred Singaporean, right? Um, you know, took umbrage to that. I'm like, but you've made your home in Hong Kong. Why would you want your city decimated, right? So anything I do can positively or, or, or negatively affect my business uh, and, and, and stuff. But I got to do what I got to do, right? I got to do what I got to do. I was looking at, uh, uh, you know, my analytics um, for both Instagram and TikTok. And it's not me just adding followers. It's also me shedding followers on both apps, right? If you look at over time, it also tells you how many people unfollowed you, right? So I could be putting people off, but obviously my, my, my following is on the up constantly. So I don't know, I don't know how to answer that question, right? Like I don't look for answers myself personally. I mean, this is all trivial stuff. What should I care? You know, Americans like numbers, they like statistics, they like proof. Journalists like numbers, statistics, proof. I'm not interested in that. I don't have a board of directors to, to answer to, right? All I'm interested in is having fun, and doing some great business, uh, and, 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 and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm interested in having fun and doing great business and being unique and different, adding to my legacy, adding to uh, uh, my heritage, uh, and, and you know, adding to my history and building my potential history in front of me. <coughs> Bye, Rat, thank you for the roses. And, and that's that, right? I'm not looking at single individual moments. Has TikTok made business better for me? Has TikTok made me more popular? I was always very popular. I'm even more popular now. Um, and popularity can be um, positive and negative, right? And I've always been, since, say, 11 years old, okay, honestly, been positively and negatively popular. Um, you know, people have always been talking about me uh, uh, for the crazy shit that I've done. Uh, you know, you guys only know me recently, right? You don't know me stretching all the way back. I have a long checkered history. Uh, checkered in the sense that, you know, I think all this stuff is great, right? Not everybody thinks it's great uh, and so forth. But people's first instinct is to hate. Mine isn't, I'm not built that way. My first instinct is to love. <coughs> Dominic, thank you for the gift. My first instinct is to love. My first instinct is not to hate uh, and stuff. So. So, you know, you, you, you'll gain popularity no matter what, but if you want to get to the top, you've got to survive the tidal, tidal wave of hate that is going to come your way. Absolute tidal wave of hate that is going to come your way. And if you cower from that, then there's no way to make it to the top. If you let what people say to you, what people say about you, bother you, there's no hope for you. It's going to be mediocrity. Uh, and that's pretty much it. <coughs> yeah, it's just going to be mediocrity. TD says he started watching me when I was sub 100K. Uh, you truly bring something nobody else does. It's incredible. And I agree with you. I'm very grateful to you. That's an awesome compliment. Uh, and I'm very grateful to you. Um, 
I either I have reply to a lot of hate, yeah, um, and so I'm I'm moody, right? And it's also about time and stuff, right? Uh, um, what's this person's name? Papa Soros X. Vic, I'm located in Hong Kong. Thomas, I go live every single day at the same time. It's 10 a.m. Hong Kong, so which is currently 10 p.m. Eastern, so 10 p.m. in New York, 9 p.m. in Chicago and and Dallas, right? 7 p.m. in Los Angeles, 3 a.m. in London. Thank you for all the congratulations. You guys are all amazing. If you want to purchase a suit from me, uh, you can come, and you cannot come to Hong Kong, uh, then you can send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website, and then I can make you something amazing. And like I said, the woman Lisa that I spoke with uh, today on today's call, I've never met her, but I made a bunch of outfits for her. She sent me a measurement. Yesterday, the lineup to celebrate 1 million views. <coughs> I call my top TikTok clients, the clients that found me on TikTok and be buying from me relentlessly. There were six of them there. Two didn't pick up the call. I've never met them in person, yet combined between them, I've made potentially 150 outfits. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, send me your measurements with the measurement chart on my website, and then I can make you something amazing. Charlie, thank you for the roses. I mean, it's, 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 it's like you're, you're asking me to write you a long cheat sheet, LCG swag, um, but you're not my client, right? And I do do stuff like that for clients uh, through WhatsApp, right? But they've already bought into it. I mean, I can do that stuff for you, um, but I, I just, you know, I, don't, I don't think it's worth my time, right? Or, or effort, and I'm being honest with you, right? Because I don't even know you and stuff. People worldwide retain me to do this stuff for them, right? So this is exactly what I do for people. <clears throat> so I can't do it pro bono for you because it's not fair uh, for my clients. But if you'd like to start the journey with me, I'm, I'm here for you. Grapple this, I appreciate your love. Yatsi, I appreciate your love. Medi, Bolt, uh, you need to purchase a suit. Uh, if I'm going to gift wrap you, I reach one million everybody. Yes, yes, yes. I, I live in China because I love China. Thank you. Is it Guinness? I don't know where you went, Guinness. Uh, I, you know, I appreciate you understanding LG, uh, LCG SWAT. And the thing is this, I'm already doing so much pro bono by having, spending time with you guys here and letting you in on my live streams daily. And publishing my side-by-side -side videos daily, right? I'm in Hong Kong. I appreciate all the love. Yes, I need merch. Jake, if I was rich, I wouldn't be working this hard. You're welcome, Jacob Dunham. I don't know what I did. Grapple this. Thank you for the love. Who are the most significant people? I mean, I don't like to rank people, right? Um, you know, my number one will always be my children. And the women that I make love to, or the woman I make love to, right? Um, I know you're talking about clients, but how do I rank my clients, right? I think it's amazing that I work with three presidents personally, both President Bush's and President Clinton. I think it's amazing that I worked with Sigourney Weaver, Kevin Spacey and Russell Crowe, Oscar winners, right? And then I can just go on and on and on from there. Sean Metani, thank you for uh, the congratulations. Do I know you? Jacob Dunham, thank you. I appreciate the lovely compliment. <coughs> this is the watch that I'm wearing. It's from Wola Watches. You can find them on Insta. Wola Watches, V-O-I-L-A Watches. I've been doing this for 24 years, but actually, truly, I'm living proof of child labor in China. I like all types of people. I don't discriminate or differentiate based on race. Um, I watched all about the Canada wildfires yesterday for the first time. I thought it was crazy, <coughs> crazy. Rihanna is only 11 years old, so I don't know what he's gonna do. I, I, I don't do hellos here. I don't do shout outs here, birthdays here, roast. You can get it all on Cameo from me. Mm. I went to NYU. I went to Stern School of Business at NYU, and I study finance and economics. Um, I'm only wearing four piercings today, so three in this year, and one in this year. <coughs> I am right now pound for pound, dollar for dollar, the number one guy in my field on the planet. Right? I mean, no one has as much much clientele as I do. No one produces what I do, and no one has my price point. Right, uh, and that's basically it. And if they did, then you'd be watching them and not me. 
why would I, I don't understand what the question. Uh, if I'm with my family, I'm with my family. If I'm at work, I'm at work, right? Uh, in between, I'm just working. <laughs> Uh, or I'm working out. Manish Maholtra is an um, incredible guy, right? But we're in different lines of business. Uh, no plans to come out of the United States. I'm waiting for my father and uncle to go on vacation. Let them go first. So they have a good time and then I can go and have a good time. <coughs> Frederick, you made, missed a great live stream. Seriously, we made an incredible outfit for, for Lisa. Uh, how many suits do you buy so you can gift wrap me? I don't even understand the question. Uh, I have a lot of fans already. I'm grateful to you. Believe me, I'm grateful to you guys. You know I mean? Some of my answers are all not nice because some of the questions are farcical, but all my answers are completely honest. I don't listen to any music anymore. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I would definitely make a suit for Tristan Tate. Um, I don't know if he'd like the suit. He seems very tough. I have no time for prima donnas, but I wouldn't turn down the opportunity to make it for him. Uh, you can see all my gift wrapping videos on my feed. I don't work in a mall. No, I work in an atelier. <laughs> Favorite part of tailoring is engaging with my clients. My grandfather came to Hong Kong in 1952. <coughs> he worked for a tailor shop for five years and then ended up saving enough money to, uh, um, uh, to open up Sam's Taylor. Why don't I listen to music? I mean, obviously I listen to music and music is going on. Unless I'm going for a very long run, I rarely, I rarely put on uh, earphones to listen to anything. And when I get home, I'm with my kids, I'm not putting music on. Um, my suit started 650 US. Somebody just said, is the way I talk about people in my videos an act? I'll let the audience uh, answer that. The dot, dot, dot is the dot, 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 hand, needle and thread pick stitching on the lapels and everywhere else. Uh, this is my 24th year on the job, Rocky. A suit will cost 650 US. I'm six foot four tall. I'm only in Hong Kong. My hands and fingers are long and perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just perfect. The most expensive suit I've created is uh, uh, 10,000 US dollars. We ask every client if they would like the dot, 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 hand, needle and thread pick stitching. And it's up to them whether they accept it or not. We don't force it upon them. I am far from perfect. <coughs> but what compensates for my deficiencies is my honesty and transparency. I love Tom Ford suits. I think they are beautiful. Uh, my suits are 650 US. I speak English. My favorite color suit right now is dark green. My favorite lining right now is the tiger lining that I've used for Lisa. Um, <clears throat> my signature fragrance is Oud by Diptyque. I make dresses all the time. I, in fact, was working with a woman yesterday. Uh, Freddie, if you're in Hong Kong, you can come to my shop, but only come if you're going to make a suit purchase. We don't welcome browsers. What made the suit so expensive? It was Piacenza, 50% uh, cashmere, 50% silk. I, I haven't counted. I don't count things. Uh, I lost count amount of women that I've been with a long time ago, right? I can't recount that. I mean, I've tried so many times, but it's just a blur, right? <coughs> and that's horrible because I say that I'm chivalrous and that, you know, I'm a musketeer and stuff. But, a, you know, a big chunk of my life, right? When you were young, it just becomes a blur then, right? I remember my first girlfriend, barely, Jesus. And then my second girlfriend. And then... I can't remember everything else in between uh, and, and stuff. It's just difficult. It's just so long ago, right? And I feel horrible about it because I would love to be able to remember everything. There's just flashbacks here and there and stuff, right? But I just can't, I can't give you a timeline and stuff. And you know, most of the girls, I don't even remember their names. I, you know, it's just shocking, right? But I cannot remember someone that I hooked up with 20 something years ago, I just can't. I have no future plans for expansion. I'm extremely busy here uh, right now. I learned English at birth from Hong Kong, in Hong Kong. My parents only spoke English to me and nothing else. Uh, I am six foot four tall, 650 US for a suit. It's a lot of repetitive questions that I've answered over and over. Mm -mm. I am from Hong Kong. 
how do I find people with videos? This is the most silly, silly question that I keep getting asked. These are clients. They are people who've come into my atelier. I don't know why this is so difficult to understand, especially for young Americans. Young Americans all think that these people in the videos are models. And they keep applying to me by email or DMs across every platform saying, can I be one of your models? I was like, you have to buy a suit. <laughs> these are real life clients who've ordered a suit and then they choose to be in a video at the end of the process. Uh, and, and that's basically it. I mean, you've got to get over this hump it, it, because it is really ridiculous. Um, I like Ritik Roshan, but my favorite Indian actor is Shah Rukh Khan. This thing about, can I model for your suits? Where do I find my models? It's just silly. It's just nonsensical. It's too young. It's too immature. You're going to be stupid later on in life. You know I mean, you're going to be too dumb to survive. You've got to, you've got to become a bit smarter. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's just not good enough. You know what I mean? To be this silly. Honestly, it's just ridiculous. Bradley Lowe, thank you for the roses. Uh, this is my 24th year on the job. Uh, I'm very religious. I, I'm a devout Hindu. That doesn't mean that I don't eat beef and etc. etc. I don't judge myself by those standards. But if people want to judge me by, by the fact that oh, I be eat beef, how can I be a Hindu? Fine, no problem by that. Uh, so I think Frederick, you know how I am. <coughs> as soon as it's look, when the weather turns in Hong Kong, no matter who I'm cantering to, unless they're 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 in the southern hemisphere, obviously, right? So let's just ignore that. So right now, I'd only be making winter stuff, and in the winter stuff, I'd be making summer stuff. That that that's the best way for it. Dante Leon, thank you for the the roses. This shit is killing me, but it's not making me feel any better. This is like straight up dumb right, Jesus. I appreciate all this love from all of you. Uh, so this week, Monday to Friday, I got up about 4.30, 4.45. I worked across my three phones doing two coffees. Uh, and then I went for workouts. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I injured my hip last week doing squats. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I've done pull-ups pull on a TRX, which I hung on a tree, okay, high up. And I changed that up with sprints. So one set sprints, two sets sprints, three sets sprints. And Tuesday was push-ups, crunches, sprints, push-ups, sit-up sprints. Wednesday, pull-ups on the TRX sprints. Thursday, push-ups, uh, uh, sit-up sprints. Today, uh, pull-ups, sprints. Because I, 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 I've been wanting to squat, but <coughs> I, can't, I, I can't risk injuring my hip. I injured my hip last Wednesday, and it's just been in, in fucking disaster pain since of course it's gotten a bit better but we'll see what happens i work 99 hours a week it's a lot of hours uh brayden thank you for the congratulations i use this cap on the cup to keep the drink warm yes correct it's a very asian thing <coughs> but asia is so large right so i mean uh, you know you guys are always going to be in the minority right but if you look at india china south korea japan uh, Indonesia, um, Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan. I mean, these are major populations, right? This is how we drink our hot stuff with the lid on top. Uh, Bobbying your mommy, I appreciate you. Uh, I take Tom Ford suits any day over anybody. Um, can I go now? I think we're good. We had a good chat. Are you guys uh, allowing me to leave? Or do you need uh, more of me? I don't speak Mandarin, I speak English. Uh, I'm not involved in any of the suit makings process, Ray. I just, I'm in the changing room jerking off. <coughs> uh, suit pants always hang them, hang everything. The kit is a great idea. Do you mean the lid? Uh, I don't understand. Why am I in China? It's the most populous country on the planet. The hugest population. Ever, <laughs> why wouldn't I be here? You know what I'm saying? Where else should I be? In a small country like the United States, when there's so much population here in, in Asia, I am Indian, 100% Indian. I'm six foot four, four tall, it's like, a, it's like a loop with the question. My favorite food is Peking duck. Um, yes, India has a population of bigger than China now. It just happened, we're inside 12 months. I'm not stupid, I know that. Uh, United States is small, trust me. Uh, 
at 300 million people, you're small compared to 1.4 and 1.4. Um, I'm happy to be here, right? This is the place to be. No, I haven't thought of that history question yet. Which country's history is my favorite to study, but I have, I'm ready for an answer. I, considering I love being an Indian and I am Indian, um, I am uh, going to start studying at least once a week at night with Rian uh, about India's history. And yeah, I've given you my answer. Thank you for following up. Am I enjoying things right now? Except for this fucking shit throat that I've had since the past Sunday. I'm loving my life. Jesus, the last three days, the, you know what I mean? What are we, fucking Friday today? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <sighs> life is good. Life is good. Uh, Johan S. Steve, I appreciate your, your, your uh, support. Uh, Azo, Azos Man 2021, I appreciate your love. I speak English. I, this is too much of a loop of questions. <coughs> my accent is my accent. It's famous. Nobody else can do my accent. All the people trying to mimic me fail. I love it. But I, I, what I love more is that they make the effort, but they don't sound anything like me. Have you seen all these mimicking videos that these kids try to do the Roshan 4D Fit videos? Yeah, so I'm Indian. I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. My family are from Sindh. Uh, I'm not Punjabi. I'm not Gujarati. L Lando Lu, thank you for the rose. Um, but I think I should go. We've been together 52 minutes. Um, have I made a suit for a black man? Yes, about 8 billion times. Goodness me. Poop, poop, thank you for the rose. Uh, I visited Canada once very, very, very long time ago. What made I, me do a TikTok? I think it was my daughter back in 2018. But I wasn't putting clients on that then. Uh, I've got a lot of tailors. <laughs> a lot. Do I lead the Quran? No, I'm not, I'm not a Muslim. Um, do I like Mexican food? I love it. Jeez, I love Mexican food. Uh, vibe in vibes only. I'm glad that you've enjoyed the stream today, right? I, I promised you a good chat and this is what you got. <laughs> Look, I've got to go preserve my throat. So let me, what's my favorite suit? E. Polanco, the one that I make for you. So um, I'm going to say bye first Insta.